Jay Jordan says, Matt, this is off topic, but recently I quit all online dating. I wasn't meeting any men worth spending time with, in my opinion. What are the best ways besides dating apps to meet quality men? Well, there are a whole bunch of different ways, right? One is through bars and clubs, if you're into that scene, which a lot of people aren't because bars and clubs honestly kind of suck. And so if you're not into those kinds of scenes, there's a huge variety of different ways that you can meet guys. One is through something that I call force friends, which is community activities. So anytime you can get involved in community activities, there's lots of different communities out there and there are tons of communities. And most people that are single and looking will go to communities to find other people who are single and looking. And so any kind of community that you can get involved in will usually have these kinds of people. So there are gym communities you can join. You can join meetup groups. You can go join personal growth seminar communities. Those are great ones. There's usually tons of people looking for other people in those communities. Um, there's just tons of different communities that you can join like that that can help you. Uh, the other way, if you're like, hey, I want to meet people in person, like in the daytime, real time, uh, it's a little bit different as a woman than it is for a man. Cause as a man, you just walk up and you start talking to people, which you can do as well as a woman. It's just a little bit, a different thing. One, one of the things that you want to start developing is the, uh, like an outgoing personality. You can develop it, right? Like I'm an introvert. I have an outgoing personality when I want to have an outgoing personality. And it's because I developed it, right? It, it literally took me years to develop uh, like an outgoing personality, which it, it doesn't normally take that long, especially for women. Women are usually better in social things because they've lived their whole lives. As a man, if you're like an introvert and you're not like trying to hang out with people, you could spend years by yourself alone and it, like nothing's going to happen. Right. But for most women, most women are more communal. They're more relationship oriented. So you, you there's a high probability chance that you have a, a more social skills than the average loner uh, introvert man has, you know, like I did when I was when I was growing up. And so uh, what you want to do is just start talking to people though, just get into the habit of talking to people anywhere and everywhere, go to restaurants, go to grocery stores and just talk to people, you know, just, uh, start conversations with people all over the place. Just say, hi, give people compliments, you know, look guys in the eye, you know, look away, smile, flirt with them a little bit, right? Go to coffee shops. Coffee shops are a great place that you can meet people. Uh, that's uh, a really fun one that you can go to. Other ones, if you want, you can go to a park, right? Like there's, I'm in Austin right now and I was talking to these women here and there's this woman and she, she was telling me that every single time she goes out in public, she gets approached by men right? She goes to Whole Foods. She gets approached by men. She goes out in the park. She gets approached by men. And I was like, you know, and so I started asking her a little bit about it because I wanted to know more about how she does that, right? Because this is my job and this is what I do. And so uh, what she's told me is because I'm like, I'm like, do you ever go and approach guys? Do you ever go and talk to guys? You know? And she was like, she's like, no, I never have to. I just, you know, I look at them. I give them looks, you know, sometimes I'll smile at them, you know, sometimes I'll, you know, just, you know, do a little flirty things, right? And then the guy comes over and starts talking to me, which is totally normal, right? That's what most guys are looking for when they look at women is if a guy looks at you, uh, you know, he's sitting there in his mind thinking, should I go over and approach this woman, right? Because if he's in a big, let's say you live in a big city, if he's in a big city, uh, he might see attractive women that he'd want to go and approach, you know, 10 times in a day or more. Right. And he probably doesn't approach any of them. Right? He probably doesn't approach any of them. He probably only approaches every once in a while when he thinks when he's either really attracted to a woman or he thinks that the interaction is going to go really, really well. And so what most guys will do is they'll look for clues or signals from the woman that things are going to go well. And so what you want to do is just go to areas where there are a lot, where there's a lot of traffic, 
right? So I, I'm in Austin, Texas right now. And there's this area up north, it's called the Domain, right? And the Domain has like these little kind of shops, right? There's like this, um, this, uh, like this smoothie shop that uh, a lot of people go and walk by and walk tours and there's a Starbucks right next to it. And there's kind of this space and you can just walk by there. Right. And, and if you're a guy and you're walking by there and you see a beautiful woman that you want to go and talk to, you're probably going to go look at her. And if she doesn't give you any cues or anything, most guys are probably just going to continue walking by. However, if you're there or you're walking there or whatever, and you see a guy and he sees you and you look at him and you smile, he's probably going to, if he's attracted to you and he's interested and he's got courage, he's probably going to come over and start talking to you. You know, it might take him a second, like, wait, wait, you know, cause most guys, especially during the daytime, they don't have like, they're not like in, I'm going to go and approach women mode. And so it might take him a second, like, whoa, did that girl just like, smile at me? Was she looking at me? Right. And so he might like take him a second to like figure it out. And then he'll like look at you and go over and talk. But it's like, that's, uh, those are really good areas to go to, uh, like any kind of high traffic area, any kind of area where there's a lot of like a lot of people going through and, you know, maybe there's some seats or whatever, and you can take a seat at one of those places and just kind of hang out and read a book or whatever, uh, you know, listen to something, but you want to make it as easy as possible for the initial stages, right? The initial stages, like people talk about playing hard to get, and there's a lot of value to this whole idea of playing hard to get, which is, you know, make it so that he has to invest, make it so that he, he has to earn you and all that kind of stuff. It's really, really good. However, at the very beginning, you want to get him hooked first, because once he's hooked, then it's, uh, it makes a lot more sense for him to start putting in energy and effort and all that kind of stuff. But before he's hooked, it it's like for most guys, there's a kind of this huge barrier to going over and talking to a woman. Does she want me to talk to her? Is she going to tell me that I'm harassing her, which a lot of guys have experienced, right? Uh, or, or seen videos about guys experiencing it or whatever. And so you want to make it easy in those first initial stages for a guy to come over and start talking to you and start up a conversation. You want to have good conversations. You want to talk to him. You want to ask him about himself. You want to do all those kinds of things because that's what to a guy, when he comes over and approaches you and starts talking to you says, I'm welcome here. And I'm allowed to have this conversation and she's interested in having more of a conversation and you know, all that kind of stuff. Like when a guy comes over and approaches you and starts talking to you in his mind, what he tries to figure out is, you know, does she like this? Is she attracted to me? Does she want to continue talking to me? Is this okay? You know, would she reject me if I asked her for her number and wanted to meet up with her later, right? Or whatever. And so the things that you can give him to show him that you're interested is one, ask him what his name is, you know, ask him about himself, you know, uh, you know, laugh at his jokes and things that he says to you, you know, flirt with him a little bit. Those things will tell him that this is okay. She wants me to move this thing forward and it's okay for me to move this thing forward. And then once he starts getting hooked, it's a lot easier for him to start building up momentum and all that kind of stuff around it. And so Best, I kind of ran off on a tangent there, Jay Jordan, but uh, best, I mean, there's tons of different places that you can go. Um, if you just want to meet people, you know, go to high traffic areas during the day that uh, have a lot of people there um, and, and smile, make eye contact with guys that you're interested in. And the other way that you can do it is going to those communities. Those, those are really the two, two best ways.